The following contains Chicago shit, so if you're from out of town, make a friend. <laughs> Humans, animals, peoples, Americans, Chicago. You have long been a place of people, because before you got here, it was mostly mastodons and giant beavers, but though they were elder gods of the land, their reign would not be forever, as no reign can be. And they died out and away. The graceful swinging trunk of the mammoth hath not lipped the rim of Lake Michigan in 4,000 years. But hopefully, and with science and Jeff Goldblum's permission, the great mammothus will rise again and walk the land, and we will rejoice as one. Because, like, I want to ride one, but you're thinking about how they're going to taste, right? Like, don't pretend. Like, are they beef? Are they steak? Will it be gamey? You may someday know, humans. But you gotta be cool with science. And lately, I am not seeing that on TikTok. <laughs> then, after many millennia, Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable settled and became one with the Potawatomi. He and Kitty Hawa nestling a legacy amongst the grains start in this fucking town called Chicago. Yeah. You are a sports destination with seven professional teams in the city, making you one of only 10 cities to have teams representing the five major American professional sports. So you're basically Hogwarts, but with more drinking and late night burritos. You are a food capital, a munchy objective, a grub hub, if you will. <laughs> Thanks to Chef Charlie Trotter basically kidnapping your scene by force. And then after the dust and the lawsuits settled, you became an internationally recognized center for cuisine. However, your strength lies in your local foods. And no, I'm not talking about deep dish pizza. Go back to the suburbs from whence you came. But please take a jar of Jardinier on your way out. It's free, you're welcome. You are an acting comedy improv kid who hit on me at the Owl that one time and I shut it down immediately because it was dollar drafts and he was drinking a PBR city where even your mail carrier is on a team and are playing this Thursday at 6 p.m. at The Annoyance. <laughs> Speaking of drinking, Chicago, your dive bars are cultural institutions, your pub scene is a wonderland, your drinking hours are suggestions, and your shot beer combos are the stuff of legend, plus weed's legal, making your summers as epic as a college freshman's first time in Amsterdam, and thankfully you have the top shelf 2 a.m. food scene to match it. You also have a banging architecture scene, but I'm not educated enough to appreciate it. So I will leave that to the professionals who are also my ride home. Shot town You are many things to many people, as many people come through there on their way to other places that are just so great. You have to go there. A location to some, a destination to others, but for me, I call ye home, for here is where my stuff is. But you are also a Gotham City without a Batman. Best you got is a Mothman who flies from his home at the Jardin Water Purification Plant to prey upon tourists that remain on the streets after 9 p.m. on a Sunday. How does he know? Oh, he fucking knows. So hie your ass back to your room at the Crown Plaza in Rosemont if you wish to live through the night. But more specifically, Chicago, you are a collective of wards, all governed by 50 aldermen from coming and going with a public election every four years on the last Tuesday in February. Now, what is an alderman? Google is free, but we're here. So here's what I Googled. An alderman is a member of the city council that serves an area that contains 2% of the city's residents. That's the ward, by the way. Sorry about the math. Please enjoy a complimentary shot of Malort. Just kidding. Even if you don't pay money, Malort has a price. <laughs> the residents of each ward elect their alderman every four years, and then that alderman joins the city council, and that's when the party starts. You get to vote on laws. You get to facilitate permits for block parties and street fests. You even get a budget from the city called the menu money, which is usually over a million dollars. 
to spend on capital improvements in your ward, like street lighting, traffic signals, or that fucking pothole on Damon that fucked up the back tire of my bike, and I had to spend 200 fucking American dollars to fix it, because apparently I was also having brake trouble. So I guess it all worked out, but it took a fucking week off my life. You also get to approve permits for street fests and block parties, plus you get a way in on liquor licenses. So really, the alderman is the most important person in Chicago, because they're in charge of drinks and where are the parties at? They even get something called aldermanic privilege, which means whatever's going on in the city, the alderman of that ward it at most effects has the final say. It's like Game of Thrones, but no dragons, just that fucking Mothman! <laughs> now, in 2023, Chicago will experience a new city council election blowing on the collective Nintendo cartridge that are the 50 wards and starting a new four years of the city itself. Like the arms of the mighty sea octopus getting a scrub and a hose off and currently two long-serving aldermen in neighboring districts will not be returning. Harry Osterman of the 48th Ward, that's from Devon to Foster, but then you like take a left on Broadway and then you head towards Lawrence. It's a whole thing. Just take Lakeshore, you'll be fine. <laughs> And James Kappelman of the 46th Ward. That's from like Foster to Addison, kinda. It's a lot of one-way streets. But the line on my GPS looked like somebody got lost because they were too drunk to bike to Wrigleyville after pre-gaming at a brewery. <laughs> Which leaves two giant gaping power holes in Edgewater, Andersonville, and Uptown, which is huge. That whole area makes up most of the brunches in the city. Not to mention a bunch of righteous rock venues and the best muscles in town, which is why, as of today, as an unofficial resident of Uptown along the line where both wards totally make out, I am announcing my candidacy for Alderman of the 46th to 48th Ward of Chicago. For too long, these wards, both alike in dignity and beer specials, have existed separately. So for my first campaign promise, I will merge the 46th and 48th Ward into a super ward, and we shall call it the 69th Ward, and our motto will be, ha, nice. <laughs> my campaign colors shall be pink and yellow, but not in like a fucking Margaritaville kind of way. More like an 80s hypercolor kind of way. Back to the Future, too. more like a roller rink than sandals and margs. Though there will be margs, rest assured, I will be there for you. My campaign song shall be Filth Pig by Ministry. The entire album. We'll play the whole fucking album. And like your dad will have to listen to it. Now I hear you. Why not Psalm 69 or the mind is a terrible thing to taste? And that's because Trent... Filth Pig is one of the most rancid albums ever melted into vinyl, and we're going to listen to the whole fucking thing yeah. until people accept it as music. Yeah. This is a promise I will keep if given the opportunity. My campaign slogan will be, hey, this doesn't have to suck. I will look to you humans of the 69th Ward to guide me in spending our righteous menu money. Shall we have black light street lamps Bedazzled potholes, the fucking LED color changing shit on the streets called Broadway for fuck's sake. Why does it look like a University Boulevard or a Central Avenue or some shit? Its name demands a certain level of drip, whatever drip is for a city street. And as your alderman, I will hire a team to find the fuck out. <laughs> there shall be block parties every Thursday. I will decree this and issue the proper permits because like you're gonna go ham on the weekend. Why not have a city-sanctioned pre-ham gathering on Thursday with Prosecco in a farmer's market where you can have cheeses and vegan options while discussing your weekend plans? Fuck else you do on Thursday night. And I promise we will take out that weird stretch of haunted condos by the Marianos on Foster and Broadway. And we're gonna put in a Six Flags because I'm tired of driving an hour just to hit up Raging Bull because by the time I get there, it's a fucking three hour wait and then that's the only coaster I'm gonna hit up on that day. We shall complete many unfinished projects up here because the whole fucking uptown looks like a kid forgot to put away their fucking Legos. So we're gonna snap it up. And yes, we are going to finish rehabbing the uptown theater. So that it may house Chicago's largest bouncy house and home to the burgeoning Lucha Libre scene with cage matches every Sunday because Sunday's for church. Yes. Yes. 
I swear I will use my influence with the Red Wing Blackbirds of Lincoln and Grant Park to reach a settlement deal where we will hire them to patrol the fucking red line, putting an end to shenanigans and Tom fuckery. And yay, though it has kept the tourists in line, far too long it has been given anxiety to the locals who deserve a fucking smooth ride home after working for minimum wage while catering to the people of the loop, which we will forever be at war with. Because, like, don't make me go downtown, guys. Okay, just come up. The food's better, and you won't get hit by a Lexus or a Divi bike. And you can wander safely, depending on the time of, of evening. And on the, the northy north side, Pro Man Park shall finally be a bigger place with a bigger sign, and it's more metal, and it'll shoot flames, because it's called Bro Man, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Wards of the north side, hark unto me. My reign will be merciful, and I will totally do all the paperwork. I shall be fair, empathetic, open to suggestions, and tough on the Mothman. Because this is Chicago, baby. Beef is in our blood. Weed is in our lungs. And we're drunk before 5 p.m. And damn it, if you elect me, I'll keep it that way. Long have you been under the rule of the mighty elders from the time of the mammoths, and it is time to move forward into the future. Citizens of the Northside Super Ward, will ye let me be your Batman? Yeah! My official pierogi brunch will be in Broman Park. It's BYO sour cream, starts at three, but like, get there whenever. I love you, good night. <laughs>